I don't you know is in China. China is a couple percentages of business to us, and right. we're very focused in a few industries. So I'm not a good barometer for that. And uh, and in Germany, we work across there, and we've done some very good business in Germany. So not necessarily. Not necessarily. That you're saying. I want to ask you about quantum computing because you had a big announcement about IBM putting forth the first system to work on quantum. Now, actually having full-blown quantum computing for business still years away, but this is an important milestone, and IBM has been doing more work on this than most other companies, arguably any other company. Anyway. Um, how do you see this being used, and what's your time frame uh, before we really have a, a business case for quantum bringing in revenue yeah. for IBM. Well, I think you'll you'll see real business clients doing real things that are really of value in this two to five year time frame uh, for quantum. Not just test, but no, real... no, no, not just test. We're past okay. that. I mean, we've already done seven million experiments with that, and so the word you used was system, and that's important, because you'll hear lots of people talk about, I have a qubit working, or I have formulas on a piece of paper. Uh, real systems are meant that humans can interact with them, get them to do things. They can be managed, they can be uh, monitored, they can be taught, programmed. That all had to happen for quantum, and that's really what we're in the middle of. And so the announcement today was, not only do we have the world's largest network of companies and companies working with us in all the national labs, of the kind of work that they're starting to do. And I do see a priority of what kind of work people are going to do. The first is going to be around materials and chemicals. Right. You're going to see logistics, and you're going to see things like risk management. And for very obvious reasons to me, and I, I keep saying, because quantum does not replace every kind of computer. It's for a certain kind of problem. And it's the kind that the world doesn't realize how many things are approximated out there. So <laughs> that's why chemistry and drug discovery is at the top. Finance um, is in there, That's why too. there's wet labs today, because right. you approximate. So is systemic risk. You approximate sure. things, because you either don't have the capacity or in the right time window to get it done. So that's what it's going to allow us to do. And that's why you'll see those at the front. And that's why you see people like ExxonMobil with us that are like chomping at the bit to get in there and do that work.